Welcome to our video on breathing. In this particular video, we're going to have a look at the yogic three part breath. So this is called Durga Pranayama. And this is the first breathing technique that I ever learned. Um, and I learned this when I was 15 years old in yoga class. I used to go to yoga with my mum, having suffered from panic attacks and anxiety from the age of 15. And this particular breath is one that I use with so many clients. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool to use, especially for those of you who maybe suffer from panic attacks. So having suffered from panic attacks myself, I know how terrifying that cycle can be. And this breath is really, really powerful for helping you through that. It's also a great technique to use pre-meditation, pre-yoga, or even, you know, at bedtime, just relaxing the mind. It really is about connecting the mind and the body with the breath. So we're going to do a little warm up and intro into this. So what I'd like you to do first is just gently place your hands on your tummy. And all we're going to do is we're going to breathe in and out of our tummy. So as you're breathing in, Feel your tummy pushing and popping out. And as you're breathing out, just feeling it flatten. Again, breathing in, feeling your tummy expand. Breathing out, feeling it contract and flatten and release. Then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna pop them up to our ribs. Okay, so this time as you're breathing, I want you to see if you can feel almost that like your fingers are parting as you breathe. So breathing in, feeling your ribs expand and move sideways, breathing out, popping back together. Breathing in, expanding the ribs, breathing out, allowing the ribs to contract and move back in. And lastly, we're going to place our hands on our chest. So this time as you're breathing, I want you to see if you can feel your chest rising and falling with every inhale and exhale. So breathing in, feeling the chest expand, breathing out, feeling it soften back down. Breathing in, expanding sideways and forwards, breathing out. And dropping and shortening. So now that you've established feeling the breath in each of those areas, what we're going to do is we're going to put them together and how it works, I want you to visualize almost that your, your body, your tummy, your ribs and your chest like a big glass of water. So as you're breathing, you're filling up this glass from the bottom all the way up. But as we're inhaling, we're going to be doing that. And then as we exhale, it's going to be emptying. Okay, I advise you to try this with your eyes closed so you can really connect into the feelings of your body. So if you want to join in with me, just gently close your eyes. You can have your palms facing, palms sitting, however is comfortable for you. And we're going to begin and as we do it, we're going to take in three inhalations. So we're going to breathe into our tummy, breathe into our ribs, breathe into our chest and then exhale fully. And then we're going to repeat that. So we're going to breathe in tummy, ribs, chest, and exhale fully. Again, tummy, ribs, chest, and exhale fully. Last time, tummy, ribs, chest, exhale fully. Well done. So this breathing technique can be done seated, it can be done lying down, it's quite a nice one to do lying down and just feeling the breath in each of the areas. So as I mentioned from a panic attack point of view it's wonderful because it's helping the brain focus on the sensations of the breath, you're getting that real full deep breath so it's helping to regulate the breath if you've got short anxious um, breaths in your chest. Now what I would say is I've got my own little switch on um, switch on this one here so you can try both and see what's most comfortable for you because that's what's really important is making sure that the breath is comfortable and you're not straining yourself in any way. So what I like to do is I actually like to do it the other way around. So we're going to breathe into our chest, ribs, tummy and exhale. 
So some people find it easier one way, some people find it easier the other. So you can play about with it and work out what feels good for you. So again, just gently allowing your eyes to close. And this time you're gonna breathe in chest, ribs, tummy, and then exhale fully. Again, chest, ribs, tummy, and exhale fully. Well done. So as I say, you can play about with this, work out what sits most comfortably for you, whether it's the filling of the glass from the bottom all the way up, or whether it's breathing as the breath travels in, your chest, ribs, tummy, um, either is good. So that's your little introduction to Durga Pranayama. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn other breathing techniques or meditations or other coping tools for anxiety, stress or overwhelm or meditation and mindfulness, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. Drop any comments below and I look forward to connecting with you. Thank you.